to see the interference check or the clash detection first we need to go to collaborate then we have here interference check you can run interference check or if someone asks you to find the clash detection for a particular area you will select this part first if you need to find the clash detection we will select this and we will go to collaborate then interference check then run interference check but if you need it all in all no need to select as it is run interference check then you will find this dialog box from this one shows us current project and arc one which one you want to compare now if you have your work if you want to compare it with electrical because here we only have architecture if you have electrical you can choose electrical with current project so that you will compare it one to another <coughs> but both of them are in current project i'll put it current project so this one i will compare it with this i'll make the interference this with this one okay now i will make first air terminal because there might be light fixtures in this air terminal place where i put it so air terminal with lighting fixture let's see electrical lighting fixture then i'll press ok so we have clash how many clash we have one two three four so if i select this it will mark up this one is clashed with lighting if i select this one same things we have clash here also we have clash the other one we have clash now <coughs> i will export it if I click show, it will show me one by one. But first, I will export it to my to desktop project. I will export it here. So when you export it, it will export it like HTML file. So I will save it here. Project one clash report. I will give it a name. Then I will save it. It's saved so I can close it this way or to see if you want to show one by one just click this lighting fixture and show click show it will show you which one it is this one again show if I click show it will show in different views where it's located again I'll click show show that's it so instead of that we need to export it exporting is better okay let's see this is a place I'll select and I'll check it in 3d or I'll create uh, I will create section indicator then I will see it here we go this one is the light fixture here this is a clash so this is our diffuser and this is our lighting so one by one you will solve it something to be moved you can move it another here ground floor ceiling I will duplicate first this duplicate file I will make the discipline make I will make it coordination now I'll make it this one none so that I can see all the items electrical and mechanical and here also check the discipline it's mechanical make it coordination uh, sub discipline is HVAC no need you can remove this one or if you need to write another additional name you can write it uh, coordination also I will write it coordination because you don't have the name coordination so by creating here it will appear up so here you see I create uh, coordination the discipline sub discipline I give it uh, coordination so that I can see all the stuff here now I'll delete this I'll go to BV I will enable all the systems from here, electrical and mechanical. Check all, enable, apply, OK. See now, here it is. This is our clash. The first one, what you see is here. So to solve the problem, you will move it this way. okay now it's solved already or you can put it here also beside the lighting into the next one so this way is the coordination how they do it so they will find the place which one need to be removed or to be moved they will move it the second one the report that 
the ones that I put it on the in the project folder I will open it desktop project project clash report I'll click here yeah, okay. now those are the clash one two three four the ones that we exported so that you can give it to your engineer or something this is the clash report this is what happened so they will find it with this this one id number you see each duct or each lighting fixture has its own id number they will copy this one or for instance let's take the third one the first one we have seen it they will copy this one and they will search it here now let's find it you see here go to manage first if you want to search it by id you need to go to manage then here we have select by id click select by id then put the id number then press ok once you press ok it's already selected okay so you can see it where it's located uh, sometimes so what i usually do it's already selected this is this dimension indicator by default it's coming so the lighting is somewhere else it's probably in this area so go to 3d view without clicking anywhere go to 3d view so the selected part it will bring you in, in 3d view so this is a one see the the terminal is here the lighting is here so i will hide the lighting for instance or no i'll move it left you see when i moved it no more flash this way you can search it again the third one the fourth one let's check the final this one i'll copy it again and go to the revit where do we go manage then select by id i'll select it if you make show also you can make it show here instead of okay make it show then it will take you to the place which one it is but you can't see it which one it is where it's located okay it's probably here but by pressing ok then go to 3d this one or press bx then it will take you to the clash where it's located go to front view so move the lighting somewhere else again i will make clash report so you will see if the clash is solved or not i put it here here it's not the right location but i just kept it here again i'll make clash report again let's go to <coughs> collaborate interference run interference check then air terminal with lighting fixture i think we solved it two or three right so should come one report press ok you see only one coming because before it was four now it's one because the, re the remaining three are solved so this way you can solve the problem but majority we are using Navis work to solve the clash report the clash problem because in Revit it's very weak you can't do anything like what you need so this way you can create the report for clash detection and you can solve the problem also by selecting the ID number okay this is our